in this video I'll show you how to do the skin binding process um, to this creature arm okay what we should do now okay select the skin envelope in this uh, modify list then uh, select the bone okay okay before you uh, I we need to add the animation to its arm I'm going to get the layer if you click this uh, layer manager it will pop up at the moment I have hide the mm, skeleton okay. as we did uh, before with his uh, head I have add the animation and same process in here I'm going to add a little bit of animation to its arm uh, and do the skin binding to get it right what I'll do auto key then set key then I'll go to the you can delete this one actually no need any longer select the head and delete that one sorry I'm going on yeah, I'm going to do it again select the uh, left arm then I'm going to maybe frame 20 it doesn't matter then rotate I'm going to rotate it upward like that okay this see it's uh, deforming uh, this deformation is not good see it's coming out we're going to fix that one don't worry I'm going to turn off the auto key mode oh. here we go then select the skin envelope and go to the left arm then paint weight make sure you have turn off uh, turn off the paint um, paint blend weight okay then click this button it will pop up the settings parameter right I have to do at the moment my strength is 0 0.1 158 you can change it uh, you can change it manually in here with this little arrow or alter uh, shift by holding down the alter shift you can that's the hot key for that okay I'm gonna add the more weight in this area I'm going to reduce down the influence. Also, if you want to smooth it up, what you could do, uh, if you want to uh, reduce the effect, um, influence, hold down the Alt key, it will uh, reduce the influence. See, it's yellow, it will go to, uh, go to blue. the left left arm bone influence to this bone um, to, uh, to this mesh area what you could do you could hide the if it is destructing uh, the skeleton you could hide it you can go through the timeline and check it out scrubbing the time the timeline if you hold down the control shift you can reduce the brush size that will help once you get used to this process it's not hard at all just selecting the right bone and add the influence you can do the fine tuning if you want to remove any paint weight what you could do hold down the old key okay hold down the old key and click it 
we just remove the paint weight okay I'm happy with the left arm what I got to do now um, left forearm select the left forearm go through the list one more thing um, I got to mention I'm um, we can mirror the paint weight just get it right one side the paint weight uh, one side of the 3d mesh get it right one side of 3d mesh paint weight then we can mirror that side to this one um, in here I'm going to uh, um, correct the paint weight on the um, left side then we can mirror it okay sometime um, we call it paint weight sometime we call it skin weight okay it's the same thing skin in I'm gonna find in the left shoulder uh, the left forearm actually see just this one you got to fix this uh, this is the left forearm you got to fix this side if I clarify you more this is the left forearm bone I'm going to fix the influence looking good you can remove the paint weight as I said by holding down the old key if you hold down the old key it will remove the paint weight so blue is somewhere around 20% okay you can do the fine tuning guys okay I'm not going in detail you can do s um, fix these edges and make it smoother I got left arm still can fix this area turn the turn off the skin mesh uh, sorry uh, bone uh, rigs in that layer okay almost done left forearm is this one Let's hold down the old key and remove the all the paint weight then what I do I'm going to add a little bit of animation to his hand I go uh, select the skin then turn on the skeleton in here see it's I'll turn off this one then you guys can see much clear. see now it's a uh, lot lot better than what it was before what you could do select the hand select the hand and add the animation it's always start from here at the key fr keyframe at zero auto key keyframe because uh, we want to uh, keep this initial pause like like a middle T pause therefore we uh, we're not going to damage to that one therefore we always add the um, I am keyframe in here then go it down then over here we're going to change it actually it's uh, nothing much to change see it's uh, I'm happy with this one uh, let me show if I want to I can change it but I don't think any reason to do so it's deforming well actually we're not going to add the mm, uh, animation to his uh, finger therefore don't worry about it okay it's defo deforming all right he but uh, we're not going to add any animation what you could do 
you select uh, the left hand turn off this one you can add all the influence um, to this mesh um, f from the uh, from left hand remove all if I explain that one if I put it into practice what you should do select left hand give me a second and look left hand and add get your paint weight tool paint weight and I'm going to color it in red that means all the influence come um, coming from to this area of the mesh which is coming from the left hand no bone nothing I make it red because we're not going to play around with the hand animation it's make it much simpler if I show you if I go to the middle finger see there's a no uh, no animation on, on a little bit left hold down the old key and remove them okay that's how you, you add the paint weight uh, how you fix the hand um, I will show you how to um, do the legs with my next video okay Thanks, guys.